So hello my dear students and learners. In the series of C programming tutorials, in my previous video, I have discussed about the various data types used in C language, along with the number of, required number of bytes to store a variable of a particular data type, what is the value range, that means what is the minimum value and maximum value that a, a variable of a particular data type can store, and the format specifiers which needs to be used to access any values or variables of a particular data type. Okay, so in this video, I am going to discuss that what are the various types of operators are used in C language. Okay, so operators means it's a symbol. It represents the operations to perform on one or more operands. Okay, so C language actually provides a wide range of operators, which can be broadly classified. into various categories based on their functionalities. So C operators are actually used to perform some operations on some values and variables. So C operators you can classify into two different categories. So number one is the types of operators based on operands and types of operators based on operation. So today I am going to discuss that how C operators different types of C operators can be classified based on the type of operands. So in a tabular format. So please let's have a look on the board. So types of operators based on operands. Okay, so we'll create a table for that. So based on operands, C operators can be broadly be classified into three different categories. Unary operator, binary operator and ternary operator. So we are going to discuss each one of them one by one. Okay, so first uh, the type of the operator and operators. That falls in this type. Okay, so first we will discuss about the unary operator. Unary operator. Now, unary operator means the operands which are used in C language and which can perform actually on a single operand. That means on performing on a single operand, this type of operators actually can produce the output, can produce the result. So only one operand is required. Okay, for example, uh, unary minus, okay, then plus plus minus minus so this is called increment operator decrement operator then address of operator okay then this uh, value at address operator and size of operator okay so this is called unary minus this is increment operator the decrement operator this is address of operator that means if we want to find the value of any address so this operator needs to be used this is uh, um, value at address operator that means if you want to retrieve or fetch the value present on a particular address so this operator needs to be used and this is the operator size of operator which will help us to find out the size of any values or any data type or any variable of a particular data type so this these are called the uh, unary operator now next one is the uh, Binary operator, different types of binary operators so we are going to discuss. So this is called unary operator. Okay, now we are going to discuss different types of binary operator. Binary means why? Bi means two. That means this type of operators can only operate if two different operators are, operands are there. Okay, so uh, only on two operands it can operate. So that's why it is called binary. Okay, they cannot operate on single operand. Okay, at least two upper ranks are required to operate on this operand. So these are called binary operators. Now different types of binary operators are there. First one is the arithmetic operator. Now for example arithmetic operators are plus then minus then division operator then multiplication operator and modular division operator. So this type of five operators are used in C language as an arithmetic operator. Now Look at the board, the, this one is the unary minus operator. So unary minus can operate on single operand, but this minus is binary minus operator. That means if this 
operator needs to operate at least two operands will be required that's why these are called binary operator next one is the relational operator now relational operator means those um, uh, operators will find the relation between two operands okay for example uh, less than less than equals to then greater than greater than equals to equals to and not equals to so this type of six type of uh, relational operators are used um, less than less than equals to greater than greater than equals to equals to and not equals to so these are the relational operator now next operator is the uh, logical operator so logical operators are uh, for example uh, logical and this is double ampersand symbol logical and then logical or and the uh, logical not operator okay so logical and means suppose two uh, conditions are there so if both the conditions satisfies okay so if first condition as well as the second condition so th then you have to use this um, logical and operator logical or means either of this condition either first condition gets may true or second condition may true if any of these condition gets true then the output will be true or in logical oper and operator both the condition needs to be true only then the output will be true okay if any of the um, condition gets false then the output will be false so this is logical and this is logical or and this is logical not logical not means so you know that um, uh, in um, uh, um, computer system everything uh, works on zeros and one so zero means it is false and one means it is true okay so not one means it is zero and not zero means it is one okay so we are going to discuss each and everything with the help of examples now next one is the bitwise operator so the examples of bitwise operators are uh, bitwise and that means this single ampersand symbol will be used. So these two are different. This is unary operator and this is binary operator. So bitwise operators actually works on, on uh, two binary numbers on bit level. Okay, so bit by bit operation will take place in bitwise operator. So this is bitwise. When both the uh, bits will be one, then the output will be one. When any of these um, bit will be zero, the output will be zero. So this is bitwise and now bitwise or bitwise or means or means if either of these bits is um, uh, one, output will be one. Okay. Now this is left shift bit operator. This is right shift bit operator. Now this is bitwise negation. Bitwise negation means if you want to find the ones complement of a number, um, you know that the ones complement of zero is one and ones complement of one is zero. So uh, this symbol, uh, till symbol, is actually used to find the ones complement of a binary number. And the next one is the bitwise XOR. Bitwise XOR means uh, it will perform the operations on bit bit level. When the uh, both the uh, bits are one, then the output will be zero. And if the um, um, inputs of both the bits are different, that means zero one or one zero like that, then only the output will be one. So we are going to discuss all these type of operators with the help of some examples. So it will be very clear to all of you. And the next one is the assignment operator. So assignment operator examples are uh, equals to uh, plus is equals to minus equals to division equals to then uh, multiplication equals to then modulo division equals to. So these are the examples of the assignment operator. Okay, so uh, this will check whether the left hand side and right hand side are equal or not this is uh, these all plus equals to minus equals to div equals to multiplication equals to modulo um, uh, division equals to all these five types of operators are called shorthand assignment operator okay so these six types of uh, assignments operators are used and all these um, uh, six all these types of operators that we have just discussed that means Arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator, bitwise operator, and assignment operators are the examples of binary operators. So all these five types are binary operator. Okay. And last one is the ternary operator. Now it is also called as conditional operator. Ternary operator or conditional operator. And the examples is, this is the symbol of ternary operator. 
ओके क्वेश्चन मार्क देन कोलोन एक्चुअली इंटरनली ऑपरेटर ट्राइ मींस थ्री सो थ्री ऑपरेंट्स नीड्स टू बी देयर ओके सो टर्नरी ऑपरेटर कैन वर्क ऑन थ्री ऑपरेंट्स ओके सो थ्री डिफरेंट द फर्स्ट वन विल बी द कंडीशन इफ द कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन द फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड एंड इफ द कंडीशन गेट्स फॉल्स देन द सेकंड एक्सप्रेशन विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड सो वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो दिस इज कॉल्ड दिस वन इज कॉल्ड यूनरी बाइनरी एंड दिस वन इज कॉल्ड टर्नरी ऑपरेटर and the last one is called the special operator so the examples of the special operators are comma operator comma operator then uh, dot operator then arrow operator so this symbol actually not available in the uh, keyboard it is a combination of two different keys that minus symbol and the greater than symbol okay so this is the arrow operator and cast operator and size of is also called special operator also size of is a unary operator but it also falls in this special operator category okay so comma operator dot operator arrow operator so dot operator arrow operator actually used um, to access the members of a structure and cast operator is used to casting a uh, uh, data type from one type to another and size of uh, i have already told you that it, it is used to find the um, size of any values or variables or of a particular data type so these are the um, different types of operators we have discussed today uh, based on the operands okay so uh, unary binary ternary and this special operators so in the next video i am going to explain each and everything in detail with the help of examples okay so i hope that you have understood the basic concepts of operators uh, which are available based on the operands in c language so thanks for watching please take care have a nice day